Okay, so just scrying the Aether of Naya, and I'm just feeling some energy coming up off of the leaves of the books, and yeah, so I'm seeing a bit of a spiral coming in front of me, and the spiral is sort of coming about me, sort of like spindles from a gem that will be included in the write-up on the blog, but um, what I'm noticing is it's it's these spindles are sort of forming a loose a, a torus or a skeleton of a torus, <clears throat> and they're rotating in, and they're rotating in, and they're reminding me of this vision that I had earlier. I forget if it was today or yesterday, but of these. Uh, mirrored sine waves which contain within them, themselves a great deal of color. And so rather than in a previous vision where I saw the inner part of this torus having jagged edges, instead we have smooth edges. And I'm being told that this is a result of focusing one's intent very well, uh, or at least a lot better than I had been, um, during make during the making of the actual call. <clears throat> so one of the things I would say is that getting into this, one finds a refinement of one's technique and doing more things brings in visions that help you refine the technique better. And this is what I'm noticing here. So, and I'm seeing there's like this, um, there's this, uh, pleasurable parallel, <laughs> which uh, is sort of self-evident if you think of a, a torus rotating in on itself and back out again um, with these sort of hourglass folds within it. Um, it's all very colorful and it's like uh, at the center of this so <clears throat> this is of interest for those of us who are working a path. And what I've noticed is that there is this hint at gems being formed along the way in the process of one's development here. And here I am seeing like this very distinct feeling that this pressure toward on at the very innermost point of the Taurus um, can create within itself a, a gem. And in a previous vision, I've seen that uh, the gem that is being produced here is to be a clear one. And this is not uncommon from, or not, not uncommon. Um, this is a parallel to what I've seen before. Um, so I'm asking the angels um, what else they may wish to show me. And they're showing at the very top of this is a very, once again, a long vertical spike, such as I saw yesterday, such as I saw yesterday. <laughs> and it's also coming down right through the center of this torus um, as it hit me in the solar plexus yesterday. Um, but really, at this point, so the analogy that I'm given is that doing this work of purification using these angelic tools, this is sort of the um, the initial stage, almost like a tumbler stage. Um, but really, it's starting. It's putting pressure on all sides, and then focusing one's intent very repeatedly is like a big um, spike, or maybe. Uh, something used to like clean out a chimney or something except it's like coming down and there's nowhere else for it to go except right in the center and this brings the pressure to bear on that gem on that gem so that it uh, is made to be free of occlusions so this is it this is the message from the hard solid form of this but really what this is it, it only appears that way. Really what's going on is the heart is learning to be soft under all circumstances, right? 
So ultimately what is actually being formed is not a clear hard stone gem, but really is a heart that is liquid. Okay. And by all means, I am not, <laughs> I'm not a perfect example of this, right? I'm human just like everybody else, but um, what it's showing me is like this potential through this sort of working to have to have this available uh, within one's consciousness. So, so I'm looking uh, along, looking for any more. I'm seeing once again a field. I'm seeing that. Uh, I'm seeing the daughter of fortitude. Very, very tall, miles tall, hundreds of miles tall, probably. Um, but anyway, she's she's lifting me up, and I'm able to see the atop her head, like sort of hovering above it, is the sphere of Lil. And above that, on top of that, you know, in a previous vision, I was being dropped down. But here, it's like I'm, I'm placed the top of it, dropped down once again. But this gem, which is this part of this process, is coming down directly to my heart, aligned with the divine's heart, which is the center of this sphere. And I'm shown once again, so this is a little bit of an elaboration from the, the previous vision, where um, the there are spheres that are sort of emanating from this hypersphere of Lil, let's say, and they're creating a 24 cell, which is a four dimensional equivalent of the um, octahedron, I believe, or perhaps the, the, the cube, which would be a tesseract. Regardless, um, these spheres are in that arrangement, right? And this is, I'm just like being drawn towards it. It's like seeing this whole arrangement, it's speaking, it's like my heart feels very light and I'm able to um, work better with my consciousness across whatever workings that I'm supposed to be doing. So, I'm looking to see if there's anything else. And I'm seeing a cylinder kind of cut in half, two halves sort of uh, lying on the ground uh, in a rockable position, basically. So the open end is facing upwards. And I'm seeing them kind of come to clasp together, um, but at least they're close together uh, if they don't actually clasp. So I, th I think that's the main sentence. If they're not clasping together yet, there's definitely going to be that potential, but they're just parallel, very close together and parallel. So. So I'm looking to see if there's anything else. And I think that's it. I think that last bit was a little bit personal. Um, but regardless, uh, thus ends the vision.